Very good. So what you are going to do with that homework, let me see if I have an example here for you. Yeah, I wrote you it. I did that part. I did the top yes. part. Yes, good job, Mr. Gertzel. You did. You wrote your answers just in the top. Now it is your time to write into the bottom. Mr. Gertzel, can I see your example? All right, thank you. So you wrote this. Good job, Mr. Gertzel. You wrote things here. You wrote... What type of advice do you wish you could have given yourself? And you said, always be prepared. Always. Good job, Mr. Gertzel. That's a really good answer. Being prepared is important. Now, we could probably turn that exact phrase into a cool little magnet thing. Do you notice that these cool little magnet things are the exact size as this? So that means you are going to make a collage using magazine cutouts on your paper. You are going to make four of these. One, two, three, four. My suggestion is that the first thing you do is write the phrase you want to use. So you remember. So I'm going to write. Always be prepared. Great. The next thing you said is I plan to get better math grades and study more. I plan to get better math grades and study more is mad long, Mr. Gertzel. So what I'd like you to do is condense that. Maybe let's circle the words. Get better math grades, study more. Let's see, I think let's just focus on maybe just study more. <gasps> study more uh, adjusting to middle school, Mr. Gertzel, you suggested it's almost really no different than elementary school. Okay, that's also mad long. Not great to have as a magnet. Let's try to use like a phrase that's about three or four words. So how about... Thank you. Yes, no problem, Miss Lovett. How about what you could do is more of the same. It's no different. Uh, it's all the same. Or you got this. You've done this before. You can do this. Think of a phrase that would work. Great. You have them chosen. Now what you're going to do. The hander outers. Who are my hander outers? Great. Thank you, hander outers. Well, you are going to take the supplies. One hand router is going to take the magazines and they are just going to put the magazines down on the table. Do not say, oh, here, Mr. Gertzler, here's your magazine. Hey, other Mr. Gertzler, here's your. No. You just put it down. There are like five or six boxes and there are like eight tables. So try to spread them out evenly. You will take a magazine. See if you can find the words. Always try your best, or whatever your phrase was. The hander outers are also going to hand her out scissors and glue. Just like that. There's the glue. Here are some scissors again. You just put them on the table. Don't slam them, and the students may use them. So you cut stuff. Ouch. Then you have your paper, you put it there, you glue it. That's about it. You need to do four of them and don't be a psycho, please. Do them politely and appropriately and good.